are the top predator of the sea, but now they are the ones under threat. New research out today from Moat scientists now confirming that sharks are in trouble and it's a global problem. Wendy Lane today on what is causing the threat of extinction. They're just beautiful animals. When it comes to sharks, they can get a bad rap. People might not realize, but most sharks are only about three feet long. Um, only a handful can be dangerous to people. And scientists say they play a big role in our world. It would be a terrible place if we had an ocean without sharks. But an ocean without sharks could be a real possibility if more isn't done to save them. Last year, the International Union for the Conservation of Nations declared that one one third of sharks face extinction and the threats don't stop there. A new study shows that the global shark fin trade is making it even worse. And so that's very alarming. Damian Chapman is the director of the Sharks and Rays Conservation Program at Moat Marine and was one of the lead researchers of the fin trade study. He says their team sampled 10,000 trimmings from shark fins sold in Hong Kong. And using DNA to identify the species of origin, they determined that more than 70% of those sharks and rays are at risk of extinction. The problem is that in many cases, the fisheries and the landings of sharks is at an unsustainable level. Shark fin soup is a delicacy in Asian countries, costing as much as $100 a bowl. And Chapman says the lack of regulations are causing sharks to be overfished. They are a part of the ecosystem for you know hundreds of millions of years. So an ocean without sharks and their relatives is is a sick ocean essentially it's, it's it's something that we don't want to see chapman says he's hopeful that this new research will encourage countries to work together to create better regulations to help save the animals it is a problem that we can solve if we just have the will to do it in sarasota wendy lane abc action news